What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. I have been contemplating for a while if I was going to get Cyberpunk 2077. I haven't done any reaction, you know, content to anything about Cyberpunk 2077 because I was that unsure. But I think I've come to the decision that I'm actually going to go ahead and get it. It'll definitely be a game I'll have to live stream because apparently that game is supposed to be really, really long. And just like with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I can't create a Let's Play series out of so many hours worth of gameplay. But we're going to react to the new gameplay trailer that just came out. And what's ironic is I've been doing reaction videos of other things these past few days simply because there weren't a lot of gameplay trailers and new release trailers and whatnot that were coming out. So I find it so ironic that once I start doing reactions to other things, the one thing that I've done the most reactions on all of a sudden just flops into my lap as soon as I decide to get the game. But that's okay. Maybe it's a sign. Without further ado, let's get right on into it. They got a lock on us. Engine's been hit. Uh, what language was that? Oh man, we're going down. Fail. <laughs> At CD Projekt Red, we dedicate ourselves to telling immersive Toast. stories. Yet with every new project, we set out to make our games bigger, more complex, deeply engaging. It looks great. Come on, v. Let's get you home. Cyberpunk 2077 marries exploration of a vast open world Ooh. with kinetic combat, story changing Ooh, player choices, shoddy on and deck. robust character development. All to bring you into our vision okay. of the dark future. I love me some character like creation. Your choice. You either burn alive in it, or you never existed at all. The year is 2077. An economic crisis culminating in nuclear conflict has left America in pieces. No shocker there. With most of the continent degenerating into lawless war zones, people from all over have converged on the already overcrowded Night City. One of the Night world's City. last great megalopolises. A hub amassing the best in resources and know-how. And home to manufacturers of cutting-edge technologies. Night City <laughs> continues to offer the promise of a civilized future. What? No, no. This isn't happening. Oh, what? but it is. But oh, it okay. <laughs> a merciless struggle for power rages. Gangs. Corporate agents, hustlers, religious cultists, politicians, and all manner of criminals oh, strive boy. to outplay one another. Ordinary people get caught in the crossfire. Dang. In Night City, I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. In this world, consumed by never-ending conflict, sometimes only an outsider will get the job done. Right. Elizabeth tells me you have answers for us. So we I'm got different people to you, worry about. An urban mercenary, a cyber enhanced gun for hire. Yeah. You understand each other. Take this too. As a mercenary, you swear no allegiance. You've chosen the outlaw life and trust that your abilities okay. will carry you up Night City's ruthless underground social ladder. Heart of Night City. Afterlife. Right to thrive as a merc. Oh, what's up, Rick you need Ross? The right combination of gear, skills and reputation. Dex had a load to say about you. I hope he wasn't overselling. With the money you earn, you can turn yourself into a living oh, weapon. Oh, that is so cool. In the oh, <laughs> what? The freaking As you double? roam the city streets, you gain the experience you need to upgrade abilities Yo! and acquire perks. Combine the right skills and gear to create a gunslinger with inhuman reflexes. A Yo. stealthy netrunner with command of all surrounding tech. Okay. Or practically anyone in between. That's me, Jack of all trades, master of none. In Cyberpunk 2077, 
You steal a prototype biochip that can set you up for life. He's being filthy rich. When its sealed container is ruptured, the only way to prevent the biochip from failing is to slot it into your head. It oh, turns out it wow. contains the digitized soul of Johnny Silverhand. Yana a Reeves. dead rocker boy with violence on his mind. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now. He's out for revenge. Aims to bring down the megacorp that made the chip. Do whatever it takes to stop him, defeat him, gut him. What is in your head nice. can shift the balance of power in Night City. The high and mighty will do anything to lay their hands on it. So basically, I'm public Hold enemy number one. You someday. Public enemy number one. The choices Just like you I like make it. will shape your story and determine how events unfold. V, you gotta take him down. That's why Attack. we're here. Attack. Let's but cut not to everything the chase. in Night City is a matter of life and death. Sometimes it's about style, choosing your look, your ride, hey. your costume, who's at your side. Okay. Choosing how you spend your dirty money. Ooh, the cars are gonna look so good. All the cars are gonna look so good. Welcome to the next generation of open world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. Samurai. December 10th. Okay, so they did confirm it after all. Okay, so that looked really nice. That looked really nice. Let's throw out the pointers that we caught in that whole video. Number one, the cliche of the desolate, post-apocalyptic, but still highly advanced future is running wild. Number two, we have to worry about different factions. You got those people that are way up here, advanced technology, and then you got those people down here that are the rebels, the gang members, and the misfits. And they rope you in with the misfits. So we're basically gonna start from the bottom and work our way up, which I have no problem with. Number three, and quite possibly the most important thing to me, is the customization. I am a sucker, a lover, for good customization. I always have loved customization. That has always been my thing since customization became a thing. And I'm a 90s kid. It took a while for that to actually become a thing. We can customize our characters' looks. We can customize, apparently, <laughs> other things. We could customize our vehicles. We could even customize how our character actually is. All the way down to the cybernetic enhancements within their body. I saw that person bust out those two forearm blades and I was instantly hooked. <laughs> I was instantly hooked. That is something that I would do. Why? Because it is a form of dual wielding and I love dual wielding. Bonus points to the fact that you can turn off copyrighted music. All of these delays that they've had, they've got a date set and they bring the ability to do that. Number four, they have a solid date now. Took them a year. but. To add to it, they also give you the option to turn off copyrighted music, which a lot of companies really need to start doing. The need to be money hungry is over at this point. If you're one of the top five, top three developers in the world, you don't need to be putting your ads on my video when I'm trying to play a game. Nintendo... Very famous for doing that. I remember when I started to record Assassin's Creed Unity, every single video I did, copyright claim. I even played Monster Hunter, copyright claim, which is why I haven't played those games on the channel for a while. Yeah, I may still be a small YouTuber. I may not be monetized yet, but one day I would be. And the less copyright claims I have, the better I'm going to feel. 
That's just how I am. But I'm pretty convinced that getting the game is something I want to do. I think it'll be a very good experience. The graphics look great. The story is pretty good. I want to see how it unfolds. You can obviously romance in the game. Oh yeah. I'm definitely going to get this game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, why not drop the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing for more of this mayhem? Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.